the honorable regarde gachagua um is not where he was when we elected him when he le- we elected him he was a nobody yeah. he was unknown today we are behind him except for 48 members of parliament yeah everybody else and i can speak with confidence because i live in nyeri and i reach out we are behind the deputy president to a man but of course you can always subtract the 48 We, saw- we went to Nyaururu. <laughs> But the rest of us are behind that man. And why are we behind that man? We feel that, number one, he is being vilified unjustifiably. He is being accused of things that don't exist. And in politics, you are not meant to love each other. I have said it a thousand times. Politics is never a love affair. It's about serving interests. and he himself did his best that man suffered he was put in the cells for this government he worked himself to the bone spent his resources to ensure we had the kenya kwanza government in office even indeed after all that remember we had our kingpin called uhuru kenyatta who warned us and told us don't go in that direction but ourselves we decided because there was betrayal and uh, the president the current president had been betrayed according to us because kumi yangu kumi yako we decided to not l- join that you know that, that, that kind of cable of people who are uh, you know meant to 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 frustrate this man and we did give him the vote now if this is how he repays us During his time and tribulations I personally had asked the president of Uhuru Kenyatta in the presence of other governors your excellency please tell us what is it that William Ruto has done that has hurt you so badly so that we understand and we are able to explain to our people the president told us nitawambia bado he left office without kutuambia now we are also telling president William Ruto if you can look us in the face and they tell us regarding gachagua has done the following 1 2 3 4 then as you tell us the things he has done also on the other hand they tell us raila amolo odinga had done the following to me but now raila is my buddy this is going to be my enemy because really this is politics and if for a reason uh president william ruto wants to doesn't want to complicate his his politics he needs to know that the mountain is still a sure bet for him the mountain even as i listen to it has not moved that far that it cannot be brought back by president william ruto. by president william they have a lot of faith in him sincerely they still believe that he is the man who can do things for them but that small matter of the deputy president do, do you see a way back for the deputy president uh, to get back into the fold of the president now that you see w- what played out last weekend where the president came to nyeri you were present there to uh, receive him yet during that event what played out was an empty seat no allow me to allow me to explain to you mm-hmm. the president is the cause of that empty seat because I was called the night before by the deputy president by Masse Wanjau. She told me, "Governor, we are coming there tomorrow, but as we come there, we shall pass Kirenyaga." Mm-hmm. I asked you and whom? Myself, the president and the deputy president. I the deputy president told me we will be going with the president to Kirenyaga. Okay. And then come to Nyeri. So I was ready. only for me to see the president not go to Kirenyaga but went to a church in Outaring in the morning regarding Gachagua had already gone to Kirenyaga to wait for the president to wait for the president and he was there waiting for the president now it's happened that the mass he was attending is a catholic mass you don't interrupt catholic catholic masses and he he went to the I think restoration church finished fruit to nyeri came and ran with this one 
And even as we were starting, he, he, I remember him asking me, he said, uh, Rikathi Gachagua coming. I told him, say, Your Excellency, he, is waiting, he was waiting for you in Kirinyaga. And he told me, oh my God, it happened that in the morning, nilibadlisha kidogo. So really, it's only that people are reading too much. They, they, let me tell you this. If there is a man I know who respects his president, it is Rigathe Gachagua. Okay. Rigathe Gachagua has a background of a uniformed officer. Wale wame kuwa trained kupiga salute. And they salute and then ask questions. That is his nature. We got, he got, the, many times you would tell him, if you remember in the early years of this government, Rigathe Gachagua was the defender of this government going to levels, and we would ask him, he said, no, 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 I must protect my boss. Now see where we are. Okay. Yeah. But uh, listening to the kind of rhetoric that happens uh, right in front of the president, and you say you've been able to talk to both leaders, mm. you talk to the deputy mm. president and mm. the president mm. in recent weeks, mm. do you see a chance of them ever getting back? Yes, this is politics. Huh? Yeah, in politics, nothing is personal. Yet, <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> yet, if you listen to the people around the president, mm. and uh, I'll pick a name, uh, Kimani Shungwa, the leader of majority, mm. the kind of rhetoric mm. he runs with, mm. um, one would think it's as good as done. There's no, no, no. no. Kimani Ichungwa is only suffering the problem of power. You know, they say power corrupts, but absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. If you look at Kimani Ichungwa, they were buddies with uh, Regazi. Do you know he's married in Regazi's uh, area here in Madeira? They, they, they have had rapport. But right now, they are each protecting their, 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 their tough. Kimani Ichungwa is in a privileged position. Because he is the leader of majority, has close proximity to the president, and of course that comes with his his sister-in-law being her, being made an ambassador, his cousin being made this and that. You know they are so all, now he's protecting that stuff, and he wouldn't want anyone to come closer and mess it up. You even saw him say of these days he talks to the president with his hands in his pockets. You know it tells you that it's power that has just gotten into him, and somewhere along the line, just remind him that a balloon with a little pin, just gets deflated. He needs to know that there have been others before him. Their fate is written all over books. Let him be careful with that power, knowing that that is not really his power. It is power that has been delegated from some other place. And especially when you're in a position where somebody appointed you, you are only majority leader, courtesy of William Ruto. Not that the people love you. They just, you are just... A, so once he understands all those things, the deputy president is there. Let them work together. Let them not just kill each other. But one of the things I fault the president is that surely he told us publicly he will never allow what he went through to happen to his own deputy. Yes. Now we see... In a, in a church service, which is sacred, he is seated there. The president is almost smiling and clapping as Kemani Chungwa calls another leader a viper. I mean, what are you telling us? What are you telling us, even as leaders? Are you telling us that is what you want your children to see? You know, is that what you really want us to see? And is that the culture you want? So you do blame the president as well for of failing God. to rein in. Uh, of course, he sh it is him. If he called everyone to order today, if President William Ruto just said, Kaiga Nyamaza, everybody Nyamaza, we will be Kilamtu at Nyamaza, and nobody will talk. We will then toe the line. We are all in, in UDA and Kenya Kwanza, so that we, we can deliver. I have said this, we have only three years to go, and the president is facing a re-election. Why don't we work hard now? Forget all these shenanigans. Focus on why we were elected and go there. All the elected leaders, apart from you, of course, were mm. in the State House uh, on Wednesday this week. To yes, be I, was, I also had an invite. Why, why did you not attend? I thought I didn't want to go because uh, I, I had communicated that I, would, I wanted to sit with the president myself. Alone. Maybe have, a, yes, have a, a, a talk with him before we can now have with my colleagues, MP and the senator and everybody else. And considering... Uh, you know, we have two different um, them. They will go and discuss their matters along their way, their, their CDF and what have you, and what national government can do. Me as a county, I have my own, you know. So I thought, let them have them, uh, their, their meeting. 
I will still, I have, are you getting the feeling that probably in as far as uh, support for Rigathi Gashagwa from all elected leaders in Nyeri, that you're coming out as um, the Lone Ranger, that everyone else is allied to the president uh, when it comes to the defense of the deputy president, you're the lone voice, all elected leaders, including the senator of Nyeri, is quiet. Maybe I will tell you this. I respect the president very much. In fact, I really love William, President William Root as a person. I may differ with the way he is treating the deputy president, but I have never shied away from speaking my mind. And I tell him what I think is not right, because he himself, I was with them in the campaigns. He told us, he told us that this will never happen. Why is it happening? I have asked him, tell us what Regade Gajangwa has done so that we can... Then, see, the other day they started saying, oh, Regathe Gashago is demanding 10 billion from the president, 10 billion to do what? That's a cock and bull. The whole idea is that, you know, sometimes, um, before a hyena eats its own kid, it accuses it of smelling like a goat. You know, you give it a bad name so that you can kill it. That's not the way to go. What they need to do is just let Regathe Gashago, okay, Regathe Gashago, because of his background as a, you know, a, a district officer, has grown up through the administration profit, you could see him as, as a bully in terms of when he wants to push something. But he's ge ge genuinely a very good man. Um, and um, I may differ with him on many things, but I'll fight for him to, because when I feel there is an injustice being uh, done against him. The same way we died with President William Ruto. Yeah. What would you say to those salivating for the position of uh, deputy president currently or the position of running mate for William Ruto come 2027? Well, they have a right. Uh, in the book of Habakkuk, chapter number three, verses two, it says, write your vision in bold letters. Uh, Let them write their vision. It's okay. I mean, I have always said, and quote me, even when the issue of Dede Njoro was brought up, I said, we cannot fight Dede Njoro. He's a young leader. Who is growing? And there is nothing wrong with him having an ambition. It's only that his time has not yet come. I would say the same for Professor Kindiki. He's a good man. He's a professor. He did a sterling job as, uh, as, um, as, uh, as majority leader in the Senate before he was kicked out by President Uhuru for no reason. But we are saying it is not yet his time. He's a good leader, but he needs to be mentored and walk into his destiny. We should invite him. Would you support uh, him if he was picked up for running and come to interview? Now, it's still too early. What about 2027? Uh, if at all, President now, William Ruto... Now, if we get to 2027 and the president, President William Ruto, feels that Regathe cannot deliver for him, because you will, pick a, you will definitely pick a running mate who can deliver for you. Because translated into votes, it's not, you, are, you don't want to bring a flower girl. Mm -hmm. I will ask you a simple question. This mountain, will it follow Regade Gashagua or will it follow anybody else? Has anyone cut an image this time that uh, you think uh -huh. this mountain will follow? Listening to the ground, uh, uh, Professor Kindiki is a, is, a, is a leader of the future. And we should not destroy him now. We should build him. We should work around making him strong and let him grow. And I will never, even those MPs who are now being used and that, they are leaders of the future. Let us build. We had a big problem as a mountain when Uhuru Kenyatta just disappeared from the scene and left us groping in the darkness. Because every new leader who came up had been suppressed. Let's not do that. Let's allow the leadership that is coming. You know, as they grow up, they look at Dede Nyoro. He, was, he, he has done a good job as, a, as an MP. He only needs to build his image as we look into him as our future. Tomorrow, the next day, there is 2027, 20, 2032. 20, these are coming, and we will need such leaders in this mountain, and I'll be the first to defend them, all of them, okay. including Professor Kithure Kindiki. But just not now. I am saying... Time and season belong to to God, yeah. But he is a good leader. He for the future, uh, looking 
maybe not now, maybe in the next election or something moving. That if, but now, if he's going to get into leadership through that process of impeachment, I don't think he's going to build his car. So what you're saying is for uh, President William Ruto to guarantee himself uh, the support of the mountain, he needs to stick with regarding Ashagwa through 2027. Agreed. No Agreed. other way. Agreed. You know, I lived in this mountain, and I have said it many times. I am a villager. I listen to the villagers. And when I listen to them, they are saying in very uns no uncertain terms, that's our man, and nobody should touch him, and we are right behind him. And you know what has happened? We have made Regade Gashagu a victim by what we are doing to him. So my community, so I tell you, because this is my community, it's betrayal. And we learned our lessons during the fight for independence. The people who betray, betrayed uh, the community, they were held with a lot of disdain. And what happens is when Will, President William Ruto, when he was deputy president, we recognized the fact that he had supported Uhuru Kenyatta to become president. But when, for his own reasons, President Kenyatta didn't like him because of what maybe what we can now see. But he didn't explain to us. He, he really just turned and... But we as a community said, no, we cannot allow this. We do not repay evil with evil. Okay. We pay good, we repay good with good. He has done us something good. We are going to stand with him. Remember, we broke the barriers. It used to be said that Akikuyu cannot vote for any other community, isn't it? We did vote for him. The least he can do is just take care of our son. Okay. And this, let me also say this, this community, the mountain community, has never had two leaders at the same time. When they set up for one, it's one leader. They will die with that leader, move with him. There can be very many others. We have a slogan in our community where we say that there can never be two rams in the same pen. Mm -hmm. It must be one. You say also Mulima, Mutuasiguze Mulima. Yeah. But it would appear that uh, the mountain has been touched to some extent, split. Uh, may, maybe not right in the middle, but a section is looking to uh, distance itself, and that's Mount Kenya East. Uh, the leadership there has come out and said, uh, we are looking separately uh, in a different direction. Those from the Mount Kenya West do not necessarily uh, fight for what we want ourselves. And uh, one may wonder, uh, is that enough to split the mountain? In the Mule, can I tell you something? Even as you speak... There is already a traditional cultural barrier right there. Uh, let me tell you. We have, do you know anything about the Meru? We have the Meru and we have the Tharaka, Nidhi. Do you know that the Meru and the Tharaka don't agree? They don't agree. It's, a, it's an unwritten split. They can never, and the Meru can, the Meru can never be led by the, the Taraka. That, that is it. So when you see those, all those small, small, those are just, um, dra that's drama. <laughs> that's really drama. It, it's, they are just, you even saw, did you see MCS in Muranga, uh, being called to Muranga here? Who went there and said, no, we didn't come here for these things. Nobody told us we had, you know, all these are things. And, and what? My pain is that they, they are going to destroy the professor. A good leader, because of those small, small things they are trying to do, instead of letting him naturally grow, because he is headed in that direction, they are going to mess him up by doing those shenanigans. They should let him grow, let him grasp his area, his, uh, uh, the people. And those, <laughs> let me tell you this, the other day we saw a hype around De De Nyoro. Yes. Then what has happened now? And I've actually... Uh, yeah, what has happened now? With regard to that, yeah. I was looking for this cartoon <laughs> on, the, uh, on, on the standard. Yes. Which has De De Nyoro. Yeah. And uh, him making a U-turn. Exactly. On his Is way to what? 2027, he's turned back and he's going back to Cairo. Can I tell you why? Uh -huh. It's the heat in the mountain. Uh -huh. It's the heat in the mountain. We do not take betrayal easily. We don't take it lying down. 
Right. And once we, you know, if you are associated, I, I can tell you, if you are associated with a fight against our son, believe you me, no matter who you are, <laughs> I don't know why people don't, you know, I tell the truth uh-huh. because I live here with these people. Yes. And it will take them a lot of, a lot of, I don't know whether it is the resources or what, or whether it's to come back to the community and plead. But anyone fighting that man in his own little way, believe you me, uh, it will not be easy. Governor Mwalimu Mutaika, asante sana for your time on TA47. And uh, as a rallying call, yeah. what would you tell the people of Nyeri as we end the show? And, on, and, and by extension, the people of Kenya and people of Mulima. Um, maybe what I would want to say is to number one to the people of Nyeri. You are my pride. The people of Nyeri, if you ask me, what can you say about Nyeri? I say, I am proud of the people of Nyeri. Why do I say that? This is a community that is resilient. These are people who, who give them an inch and they will take a foot. I have seen them do ex- wonderful, great things. I remember when I took over office, I introduced avocado. And I gave avocados to, my, to, to the people of Nyeri. You know, give them just a few, uh, five per family. Today, this county is leading in production of avocado. Because they simply move with move. With. They are now selling in Teto here one avocado at 24 shillings. That is the resilient spirit of the people of Nyeri. These people of Nyeri, they are hard workers. They don't believe in handouts. They are a people that I am proud of. And now today as I speak to you, I want to thank you for your confidence in me, in my giving me the opportunity to lead you. And uh walking this journey with me i will also tell you and remind you to stand behind our son the deputy president of the republic of kenya uh, Prezi- uh deputy president uh, Gashagua. listen to him pray for him even as he goes through all the tribulations we have seen worse but we always come out as victors we'll be able to rise from the ashes once again it's not over until it's over do not touch the mountain. Take care of us. Usiguze <laughs> mlima. And for the people of Kenya, I think I must say this, that we have a duty and a responsibility to demand accountability from our government, mm-hmm. both at county level and at national level. As we stand here, we have a president in office. That is President William, uh, William Ruto. He has three years to go. It is my prayer that we shall s- support him so that he delivers on his mandate. And then in 2027, we are able to judge him correctly. But if we do not allow him room to work, if we are going to continue now politicking for the next three years, then it will be a very, very unfair competition come 2027. And therefore, I want to urge all of us to stand together as we support this government so that they can deliver to us the three years remaining. There, there have been lofty promises. But really, if we continue in this kind of very um, bad, you know, very, very, uh, an environment that is totally unfit for working, I don't believe we'll be able to get the very best. Otherwise, I want to wish all of you well. We are speaking from the mountain. This is uh, the treetops. It is now open. It's an operational hotel. hotel. It's a history. This is where the queen came in as a prince and came down as a, as a, as a, as a queen. Her bed is right here. I think it's number 312. Or, and you can always come and spend your time here. As you sit behind me here, you'll be able to watch elephants. I do not know whether you have ever had breakfast as elephants watch you. Thank you. Karibu Nyeri. This is Lagrange from Simple Generations.